Okay. So I have realized that the Star Trek Next Generation has uh, symbology uh, which is very deep and very well expressed and it's well it it's in plain sight but of course uh, even even when i look at this i will not see this the first time i see it because it's just um, i don't know i don't know right uh, somehow i didn't see it the first time but what I can do is to show that each episode connect with each other. You know, each episode is supposed to be disconnected from the next episode, you know. It's supposed to be, you can put one episode of Star Trek and basically you can start from there and you're going to follow the plot, you know. The plot is for each episode, mostly. But when it comes to the hidden or occult symbolism, it stretches from the first season, first episode, into the next episode, into the next, and it connects beautifully. So... Um, I will try to present this. It's a bit complicated. I will use images, maybe a few clips. I'm not sure if the video will be deleted or if it will be able to stay up. I will try to keep it at some balanced level between video clips and images but what i'm trying to say is that there is indeed a, a, an underlying plot an underlying plot of symbolism which um which i will i will um, present all from the queue uh, to the disease you know diseases and, and uh, two into one and crystals and uh, things like that connect from one episode to the next with this symbology yeah, it's it's amazing and um, considering that like the the normie plot you know if you're a normie you look at the series you see each ep each episode separately you see each episode has a separate um, plot you know and uh, and you can um, you can enjoy that watching that but what's also happening is that this symbolism with a deeper plot will seamlessly enter you this symbolism you know and um, yeah uh, so let's see if I will be able to present this in a good way um, well uh, yeah if, if I feel like it maybe I'll do it maybe yeah I think I think I will uh, yeah, so very interesting to me. Uh, so yeah, I'll I will watch some some Star Trek now, some other other episodes, okay, and uh, just for relaxing, you know. Um, what more? What more? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know. Maybe, maybe that's not important, who cares. Um, yeah.
yeah i i have taken a lot of photographs of things things that kind of manifest you know i drive with a car and the car in front has slime on it and it has birds on on, on it and and you can see uh, it, it, it's a trolley it, it, it's a truck you see and the back side of the truck has birds and there is slime and i i i, I photograph out the window when um how do you say on the wall there is uh, when, when i'm driving and there is this city that is uh, there is this artwork and there is this city on on, on fire and there is this birds of, of phoenixes going up from it uh, more yeah um just seeing people like regular normies carrying t or having t-shirts that says Phoenix on it, you know, why not? Like regular people has a t-shirt says Phoenix. This is this is this is normal to me, okay? This is how it is in for me. Uh, just see things, okay? And it's there, I can photograph it. You could say that okay, this is an illusion. Well, my, my illusion is in reality, it's there, and I can present it to anyone. Um, so, um, and that's also why I don't really need any comments, I believe. I don't really need your comments, because you think something, and if it's a good thought, it will just uh, come to me in the form of, um, uh, like... Uh, in the form of audio or, or visual uh, I will just see something on a t-shirt or I will just uh, hear someone say something or just reality will just tell me it you know this is what's happening um, with the, sim the symbology is so intense you know um, so uh, yeah let's see so I, I, I don't need your comments. I don't need it. Um, I get the most help from symbology that comes to me. And this symbology could very well be a result of other people's thoughts. Like a lot of people thinking about something and it will... Uh, be imprinted as a message like symbology you know with a collective unconscious like just showing it to me and uh, yeah um, but you know I am not having illusions you know I can photograph anything and show it to anyone and it, they will agree with me about it or they will deny it you know because um, there's a high price in not denying this the, the price of truth is a bit high you know there's a high price and uh, if you're a normie and you um you uh, i guess people would just break break from it you know they would it's tough stuff as many know about right i read a comment someone saying that it's it's tough you know For me, truth itself is not tough, not like that, uh, it's other things, but yeah, uh, let's see, was it something more, yeah, of course, there is a lot to say, but 
this was a video about what I'm going to say tomorrow. Not not important video again. Uh, okay. Now I will watch some Star Trek. No comments as usual. See you. Have a good evening or something. Bye.